Hello, back again. This time I'm gonna be showing you how I capture my Wii, which sounds uh, so wrong, with a Elgato HD60 Pro. Plus I'm using a Wii to HDMI plugged into the uh, Wii. Because the uh, Elgato's only got HDMI inputs. So the thing I'll do, I'll quickly capture a video and I'll show you the settings I use. So if I start up the Elgato software, It's already running. Right, the settings I use, if I just click there on the right, I've got input devices other, video inputs HDMI, audio HDMI. I've got HDMI color range set as standard because if you use expanded, it'll slightly wash out the colors. Uh, profile, you can uh, set as uh, HD 1080, allow 60 FPS. And also down the bottom, I've got stretch standard definition input that's the settings I use to capture so you can just click OK and I'll just cancel that because my settings are saved the thing I'll do I'll quickly uh, capture a quick little video so click record the only thing about having an Elgato is you can uh, play from the uh, capture window because there's no delay quickly do a video then I'll show you how I upscale it in Adobe Premiere Pro right here we go let's climb get onto the swing up we go on to the next uh, swing and again Go and keep going and down the slide. I'll just do a quick video. I won't do a full run because I've not even uh, managed to finish this uh, level yet to get the star. One. Just jump off the edge. Yay. Right, that'll do for the captured video. I'll just click stop. Right now, I'll just close that down. And I will open the video in Adobe Premiere. Right, you want a uh, you want a new project. You can leave that as it is. You can just click OK. I already had a project open, so I'll just click yes. So overwrites. Thing you want to do up on the top left, you want to go file, new, and then go new sequence. And the one you want, I'll just close it, is AVC HD at the top, the third one down. Just double click on it and you want the one right down the bottom which is HVC HD 1080p 60. So I'll just double click on that and that gives me a new uh, uh, 1080 sequence. Right, on the bottom left here you've got media browser because all you're going to do now is search for your video you just captured. Uh, mine's in crap and capture. And it's that one. So I've got this video here, that's just a screen uh, screenshot. So, so I'll just double click on it. It's just opening the file now. Just previewing it. So if I'll do it, I'll drag it over to the timeline or over to the se new sequence. Right, thing it's telling you now, do you want to change the sequence to match the video? The thing you do, you don't want to do that. You want to keep your sequence as it is. So keep existing settings. So there now you've got a preview of it and as you can see it doesn't fill the whole uh, 1080p screen. 
So all you need to do is in your sequence, the timeline, click on the video, which is the top one, left click on it, so it's, so it's selected, and then right click on it, and you want to scale to frame size. And as you can see now, it's scaled up, but there's still bars around it. So the thing we can do, we can scale it up a little bit more to uh, get rid of the bars. So on the left panel, if you look up the top, you've got effect controls. So just click on there. And up the top here with video effects, you've got motion, position, and scale. And here, you can either use a slider, just left click, actually on the 100, and move left or right, and it will start scaling up. And the thing you want to do, you want it about 106, or if you want to do it easier, just double left click on it, and you can enter in 106. It's entirely up to you. You can enter 106 and just press enter, and it will uh, scale up the same. So as you can see now, it's, it's filled the whole frame. And I can just play it. stop it now all we need to do the thing you want to do is click in the uh, timeline panel so that's highlighted and then go file up on the top left uh, export down the bottom there export media and the thing you can do you can either do match sequence settings by just clicking the box and outputting that or it's up to you if you want a slightly smaller file I always uh, format, always use uh, H264, uh, high bit rate, or you can, if you want to, if you click on there, you get this uh, window pop up, and use the arrow keys, and you can scroll right down to the bottom, I'll let you uh, move the mouse out of the way, if you scroll right down to the bottom, you will get uh, YouTube profiles, so it's entirely up to you which way you want to go. So if I click a YouTube profile, and if you want uh, slightly better colours, it's not too bad if you don't tick them, but it's up, entirely up to you. You can render at max depth, gives you slightly better colours, and the same with this one. If you want slightly better picture quality, it just takes a little bit longer to encode. So sequence one, if I click, I'll just show you that again. In output name, if you left click on it, and then you can choose where you want to put it. So I've got it in videos, sequence one. Click save. And then you'd want to, down the bottom there, you just got export. So you can start exporting the video. It's only a small clip, so it shouldn't take too long to do. Right, that's all done now. I'll close down uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, click now, I don't want to save project. I'll go into my videos and it's sequence one. So uh, this is the video which I've upscaled to uh, 1080p. I'll just maximize it. And uh, to my eyes, it uh, doesn't look too bad. I'll just let it play for a bit. So as always, I uh, hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.